Also guys, here's good to see you and I'm back with another video. So today's video, I'm showing you guys a tournament that I can use in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So this trade method all revolves around chemistry styles. Chemistry styles are so OP in this game and they're so easy to train with. The main two chemistry styles that you're looking for are the Hunter chemistry style and also the Shadow chemistry style. Now on the market, these two are going for around, I think the Shadow's going for around 15k, I think. Oh no, wow. Well, the Shadow's going for around 17k on the market. And I think the Hunter's going for a bit less than that. Let me just check how much the Hunter's going for. The Hunter's going for around, I think it's going for a lot less. Yeah, a lot less. So like 6.7, about 6 to 5k on the market. So the Shadow is worth a lot more than the Hunter. But what you guys want to do is, uh, for this method, you want to search up the cheap meta players. So I'm going to show you an example right now. So someone like Rashford. Rashford is a cheap meta player in this game. So Rashford, and now if you're an attacker, you want to put a Hunter on him. So obviously Rashford's a striker, so you want to go for a, the attacking game strategy, which is a Hunter. Um, so I mean, let me check. Rashford normally is worth around, I think, 5 to 4.9, 5k. Yeah, so he's normally worth around 5k on the market. Um, let me just check properly, 4.9, 4.9, yeah, so 4.9. 4.7 and just say around 4.8 or let's just say 4.8 on the market and rush with the hunter chemistry on him is around about 5 5 4 5 6 that's that's on, on the right price rush with so when you snipe rush with you want to snipe him for that 5 4 5 4 you want to snipe him for like 800 coins to like 700 coins above that price and over the normal price and you want to list them for 1k or like 1.5k over the normal price. So if I was rushed for like 5.4, I would list them for like 6k. That would be the max I list them up because you don't want to list them up too much on the market because people uh, won't actually buy the card because they probably think it's a waste of money. So you don't want to list them up too high. So I think for Rushford, if you're going to buy him, 6k would be a really, really good price for him. And if it doesn't sell on the market, you can just keep it relisting him, relisting him. And eventually people will buy the, this uh, Rushford card that you are listing. Another good player that can uh, use this method with is someone like uh, Furlan Mendy. Now Furlan Mendy is uh, probably one of the most used cheap left backs uh, in this game. Everybody has Mendy in their team. Literally everybody. Now Mendy is worth around 4.3.9. Um, I think. No, uh, I'll cheap that. We actually really cheap Mendy. About 3. Point, um, Mendy is worth around 3.5 on the market. Uh, about 3.3, Yes, just say that about 3.5 on the market, Mendy's worth. So what you want to do is with Mendy, because he's a, like a defender, you want, you want good defender stats on him. So you're going to look for this Shadow Chemist style. Now Mendy with the Shadow Chemist style on him is around about, hold on, what's up here? Is around about um, 4.5k. 4.5k on the market. Now that for me is a bit too much. For a many card, because usually these cards worth around 3.5 to 3.3k. So, what you want to do is try sniping this many for like 4k, or 500, count, 500 coins over the normal price, and then list them at 1k higher. So, just see you sell for like 4k, list them up for like 4.5 or 4.4 on the market. I know that guy, list, that guy listed um, his for like 4.4, but if I buy that one, I will make it down profit on it. So, you want to try sniping it for cheaper than it actually is so you can make a lot of profit on it uh who's another good meta player lucas lucas Mora is another really good meta player in this game uh lucas Mora. lucas Mora. he's a really good meta player in this game and lucas Mora is worth around three point i think he's worth a positive mender he's worth around three point yes it's about three point two on the market so uh, how much is him with a shot on him? Literally is worth now I would not I would not snipe I would not buy him for that much on the market. I would try sniping him lower for like 4.5k. He's with a hunter chemist that Lucas is worth um four 5.4k. I would not snipe for that much. I will not snipe for that one because then you won't be making that much coins off him. So it's worth about 5 by 5 with the, uh, with the Hunter Camp Challenge. So you want to try snapping him for like 4.7 to like 4.9 or 5k on the market. That's we, that's the price you want to snipe uh, Lucas with the Hunter card. 
because if you start him at a 6k mark, you're not gonna make that much profit on him. And you're just gonna have him in the club literally doing nothing and it'll be a waste of coin. Literally, you're not gonna do anything with that card. And nobody's gonna buy that card. So there'll be no point literally getting uh, sniping him for like 6k on the market. Yeah, so you're gonna skim away. Another good one is um, a Diamond Towers normal card. That's a really good uh, one to snipe also. So his normal card on the market is going for around. Um, no, no, but six, two point. I'd say around two point two. I think a dead normal card is going for two point two point four. All right, so a dead normal card is going for like two point four on the market, and him with a shadow chemistry on him is going for around about three by four. No, four by five on the market. Yeah, so around four by five on the market. So you want to try to snap it like at about 3.5 at this price range right here or a little bit higher than this so that when you do sell him you can make profit on him and with some of these cards like with Adair there's only two of the market and if they go off the market you can list yours at whatever price you want to make profit off and now with these cards you don't have to use the always use the Hunter and Shadow Chemistry you can use something like just for center box you can use um, the Anchor Chemistry you don't have to always, always use Hunter and Shadow with Anchor Adair going for around about 2x4 with anchor. I mean that's like it, that's what the normal price of the card. You can listen up for like buy that one for 2x4, listen up for like 3k on the market, you can make profit off that card. You know, that card's gone instantly. And now the next one is 3k. Now I bet that next one is 3k and then the next one is 3.3. Yeah. So you can even do it with different chemistry, just whatever you really feeling. If one chemistry is not working, you can change to the other chemistry, you can just keep on changing, changing. And alternate through chemistry styles just to find out which one works perfect for you lot. But I would say like go for the main chemistry styles. So like Hunter, Shadow, Anchor, Hawk, all these uh, Sniper. The main chemistry styles you want to go for uh, when trying to stab these players. So guys that was the video. Sniping meta players uh, with uh, chemistry styles on them. If you do enjoy this video please tell me in the comments below. And please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.